Alright guys, uh, this is the new Spectrum H6160 high voltage, high speed servos. Uh, $36. Made for helicopters, 550 to 700 size. And uh, <clears throat> I saw the price on these and I said, wow, $36. That's really affordable if I crash, you know what I mean, and, and need to replace my servos. I don't have to try to be digging up a hundred bucks out of my pocket for each servo or nothing like that. So uh, I picked up these. I sold the Align servos for 140 bucks and got these for 110 bucks. This helicopter has been cheaper for me upgrading than uh, about the same as a 450. You know, I sold the old tail unit off of it for 30 bucks and upgraded to the uh, DFC tail. It was $41, so I was out $11 there. And then the uh, Align GP900, I think I got $50 for it and bought the full-size K-Bar for $41. Uh, the upgrade performance package for that motor sells for I think sixty dollars I paid forty one dollars for it um, the blade grips the head unit I think I paid eleven dollars for and the blade grips I also got for cheap in the swash plate um, the most expensive thing was the motor which was a birthday present and it was a hundred and fifty dollars and I sold the old motor for forty five dollars so about $110 which wasn't bad so overall this little beast and then we have a 8 gauge connector wire here I heard they use 8 and 10 gauge so um, later on we upgrade this speed controller to a Castle 100 maybe even a 120 if it'll fit and uh, it'll have a bigger gauge wire there and then the Hercules BC, which sells for $99. I imagine with tax and shipping, it'd be a little more. But we were lucky enough to get it for 60 bucks, and it's almost like just like new. So, uh, guys, check out that box. There's no video or uh, of anybody using these on YouTube yet will be the first and uh, hopefully we like them and uh, more you guys can uh, upgrade to uh, bigger size helicopters because damn servos is as cheap as a damn 450 man yep so go buy you some old use broken down 500 or six 550 or 600 or even 700 It'll be cheap to do that put these in here and thanks for watching uh, the main blade I got the red main blade holder little blade grip up there you know this part that goes here to the grip the red ones will be here should be here Monday I would have thought they'd been here today other than that I think I covered everything well that's just wanted to show off these new uh, spectrum servos and tell my little story on this helicopter also even the main blades were $18 the tail blades were $10 so yes it was definitely and their fly bar is still definitely cheaper than cheaper not cheaper or if not as cheap as a 450 for me to be able to upgrade this baby this will be my last helicopter and I mean that I'll be uh, upgrading and doing all this too I don't need no more it's probably time to start getting rid, rid of a few of them you know and uh, stay tuned uh, hopefully sometime next week I'll possibly be using my 5,000 milliamp packs for my 700 since they are fitting inside the frame until I can get some lighter packs like some 3300s or 3000s to put in here Instead, I've seen the batteries even reasonably priced, like around 50 bucks a battery. And uh, 
And there's guys on the forums that got deals on nice used batteries like Thunder Powers, two of them for 200 bucks, or some uh, 60 C batteries, 12 cell packs. Guys got some for 100 bucks. So some decent prices on this. But uh, you know, right now I'm about to try and uh, slow down for a minute. Well, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to do more flying now. You know, I stepped away for a second so I can get these birds together. And uh, so I didn't put no money into them. My, it's time to start taking care of other responsibilities, man. I did the surgery, go back to work. We're about to try and pick up a car next week. And uh, then after that, more flight videos. And uh, hopefully me taking vacations and other good, good things. So you guys stay tuned and keep flying. And thanks for watching. And get you some of these, boy. Well, Nice metal case. I like the orange label too. These might be worth something. Oh, and I got I had to replace these servo horns. Because these are the servo horns or the align for the align and the futaba. And those servo arms cost me I think it was nine dollars. Yeah, and the uh, oh, this one don't even move, and these supposed to center real good too. But usually I'm able to turn my servos, but these aren't cordless; they're a, a bearing. That's the only downfall. But I don't mind them being uh, bearing, and because uh, they're high speed and high voltage, so long as they fly but this here I don't like that I'm usually able to spin my servos and I'm not going to force this one and maybe this one is just effective let's see while you guys are watching let's open another box here Lock, baby. So I'm be trying to turn on the strip your gears, fellas. <laughs> they might be pretty tight, man. That's something else. Thanks for watching. It's time to install them.